here today we're fitting a set of uh, OCAM towing mirrors for the 79 series Land Cruiser. Um, just un unbox the, the mirrors and this is what comes in the kit. So you've got obviously your two mirrors, your rubbers that go on the basing of the mirror. You've got all your clips to cover all the bolt holes. Uh, you've got your spacers that go inside for the bolts. And you've got your wiring loom, your brackets and your little connectors. So just a quick look on uh, what's inside the kit and then we'll get started. First things first is uh, we'll get the door trim off. By doing that, you've got a Phillips head in the door handle. Um, so in that uh, for the, the window switches, that just pops off. We've got two cutouts here. Just real gently put a, a flathead inside there and just slightly pry it out. That'll come out nice and easy. You've got two Phillips head in there as well. And the rest is held on by actual clips. So we'll go on and start taking that off. Nice and easy. We'll just pop that forward. As you can see, there's a little, little cutout. So that actually has to slide that locks in, so be careful you don't break these. Switches, straightforward, unclip. Come straight off. These little bad boys, just nice and gentle. So just all clips in there, just be careful with those. There we go. And then you continue with all the plastic clips. Just find a, a nice open area to get into. With the door handle, the mechanism there, just a little clip. Pop that back. You gotta be a bit gentle with these. This one's a bit stubborn. And that just lifts up and it comes off. Continue with the clips. And that's the door trim. Put that aside. And then next we just make way, so just 
is the factory plastic. Okay, now we have access for our wiring. Then we'll go ahead and take the mirror off next. And then um, give you a step-by-step -step run through on where to drill and uh, go from there. someone to help you would be ideal. If not, just two hands are nice and easy. And that's it. Mirror's off. Next step is to actually get the, the driver's side mirror. We're doing the driver's side. Put it on there. Everything lines up and then we'll go ahead and, and drill the hole for the wiring. So, factory mirror is off, we're ready to put the OCAM uh, towing mirror. Uh, first stop I'll be doing is so feeding the wire through this mounting rubber. So this actually creates a seal, so you don't get no water going inside to your door or your door trim. And um, that sits as you can see, that lines up nice and perfect. So when you do go and mount it to the vehicle, just make sure everything's seated correctly to give you a perfect seal. Now, as you can see here, you see your two elongated holes here, so that they're your top mount. And then you've got this wiring that sticks out of the actual mirror. Now, what, what needs to be done is we need to drill a hole. Preferably, I'll, I'll be going in the centre of this, of this mount. That way, it creates enough room on the actual wiring room to not interfere with the, the housing and it'll go nice and nice and snug in there. So this is the center of the mount which I'm gonna drill. So go ahead and do your pilot hole. There we go. Got our pilot hole for the wiring room now. Now as you can see on this on this model it's got the four mounting holes. So there's no need to, to modify anything down the bottom. As for the 76 series uh, cruisers, they only have the two up top and none down the bottom. And that's where these come in handy. So these plates with the uh, rib nuts inside the plate. So if the vehicle had no mounting point here, this is what needs to be used. So then you, you'd measure Draw your holes, put the plate in there. Got some double edge tape there, so we can stick to the actual door on the inside to make your life a lot easier on installing the mirrors. But as for this model, they're already in there, so there's no dramas with this. Alrighty. Next step is to open this uh, pilot hole up, measure the the mount. I'll be measuring the mount on the actual. Uh, the mirror, so this this clip here, just just hold up a a, uh, a drill bit close to it, as long as it fits, and then uh, go ahead and drill your hole. So that's that's the pilot hole. Go ahead and drill it out. Just be very careful. Um, if you're not really used to drilling and stuff like that, you can always put masking tape on there so it doesn't slip. Uh, if you're confident, you've done your pilot hole, you're good to go. this result we'll go ahead and touch up with a bit of a uh, bit of paint a bit of paint protection just to stop the rust or you could use a bit of uh, silicon as well either way uh, is a good way to go me personally I like to use a bit of paint um, and silicon if you're if you're a bit you know a bit fussy <laughs> and I want to put some paint on there easiest way guys spray can a bit of paint a little brush spray into the, to the lid 
You've got yourself a bit of paint there. Just go ahead and touch it up. Go. We'll go and let that dry and then we'll go and mount the actual mirror itself and run the wiring through. Go ahead and put the wiring loom. All right, now with this wiring loom, that one there is for your actual uh, your main switch. You've got a fused wire with your black and red that goes to power and obviously negative. And then you've got your two wires, driver side, passenger side. Next step with the actual wiring loom, we're gonna take this trim panel off and the kick panel. So once you unscrew those, they come off. Kick panel pops off, there's a little uh, plastic screw in there. And now what we wanna do, you come in here, through the inner sill there, you've got this rubber grommet where my finger is. Now what we wanna be doing is punching a hole through there to run our wiring. So through this grommet and then into the door grommet. So once you go ahead and pop your wiring through there, through that one, into the door, next step would be running the wiring away from the, the actual mechanism and the window itself. Otherwise you'll be getting, um, you know, maybe a cut wiring or you could damage the wiring because of the window. So best way to do it is to sit on the edge, follow existing wiring, and then go up there so we can mount our window. So we'll go ahead and do that. Easiest way to do it is to, with the grommet, put a small little cut in the grommet. Um, so once you've cut your hole in your grommet, just a slight cut, you can do the same on the next grommet that goes into the door. If it's too hard to go through, you find it difficult, Attach a piece of wire to your wiring, a bit of tape. That'll allow you to actually slide it through with ease. Bit of tape on. Slider on through. Tip there, as you can see. Press that coming through there. We'll do the same on the on the on the door side. We'll do the same thing there. More little cut. And please be careful not to touch any other wiring. So just, just a surface cut. There you go. Just feed your wire. Let's come through. It needs to be. Now, as I said before, we, we really have to avoid the actual window itself. Don't put a hole. This hole was already there. If you want to get to that point there, pull the plastic even lower. But since this hole is already there, so I'm using it. Get 
bring the wiring up. If you need a bit more, just feed some through. Feed some through. Keep it in mind, you've got plenty of room for this, so the more you get. But in saying that, you do want the less wiring in this part of the door as possible, just for no interference with the, with the actual door uh, window, sorry. Now we'll go ahead and get this off. So next step would be organizing your wiring loom. So the clips that come in the kit, you have to actually connect them yourself. The reason being is because you're drilling holes, you're running wires through, it makes life easier. And then all you gotta do is put the wires in to each slot. Now how I'll be doing this, look it's very crucial you don't mess this up. If you do, you can damage the motor on the inside of the mirror and that will be installer's fault. So the first thing I'll be doing is matching up where these go, how they line up and that goes into there. So go purple on purple, white on white, orange on orange. So once you've done that and the clips in correctly, it's, it's pretty straightforward. And it's easier to just slide it through. And that locks in. Slide the next one in. And that locks in. As you can see, purple on purple, white on white, orange on orange. And the same goes with your red on yellows and We'll get to that next. So once that's done, that's ready to go. Wiring through the two grommets. I've come up, I've made sure I've avoided the mechanism, uh, the window itself. Otherwise you'll just be pulling in your wire and damage your wiring. And I've ran it through this hole and now the connector's on and ready to go. Next step is grab the actual mirror itself. Get all your mounting hardware to mount the, the mirror to the door. Uh, and then connect your clip and then bolt her up and making sure you've got a nice seal with the actual uh, rubber that comes in the kit. Okay, so you've got four of these in the kit and that's actually, actually a spacer style so it holds in to the actual housing and that goes on the front side and that pops in there and that allows you to put your, your, your 6 mil bolt, 10 mil head through there to actually support this onto the body. So we'll go ahead and do that. If you can't see them in 100%, once you start tightening, they'll seat in perfectly. It is, a, it is a very snug fit. Nice and, and snug. Wiring is coming out. Go ahead and connect this wiring. Okay. Feed your wiring through. Now. When you, when you mount it to the vehicle with the actual wiring on the inside, so keep with your fingers pushing the wiring in. We don't want the wiring to fold, and then we end up squinting it down. So, pretty straightforward. And we'll get some bolts in there just to hold it so we can keep. You've got someone to help you, it's ideal. They do have spring washers on there, so there's no need for Loctite on this application. If you are 
you know, on corrugated roads every day. You can put it, but there are spin washers, so it is peace of mind there. That's, that's sitting roughly where we need it. Go ahead and get your Phillips head. Preferably a 10 mil, but for now, I'm gonna use a Phillips head just to bring it closer to the actual door before I give it a final adjustment and time. Now the adjustment you want, you wanna make sure it's all seated correctly from the top part all along. Just run your fingers along, make sure it's seated. And on the top side as well, if it's not, there's a bit of adjustment to go down or up, uh, preferably down to line up with the top of that panel. And that'll give it a nice seal on top as well. So I'm, I'm happy with the way it's sealed at the moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it a bit tighter. nice and tight now, come up and have a look. You want that perfect seal. Looks better than factory to me. That's it there. So once you've done that, come back on the inside. It's got a beautiful seal here as well. And that's gonna allow it to not leak any water. Now with your wiring, Got a bit, bit of extra wiring here. I'd rather not keep that inside the door, so I just, I'm gonna pull this out. It'd be better be under the dash than inside the door. So inside the door, you've got a reinforcement bar that holds the outer skin of the door. Now, from factory, there are a slight hole in there that you can actually access a, a cable tie to mount it to that, just to keep it away from the actual window. Windows here, that's gonna come straight up and we don't want this wiring to interfere whatsoever. So you've got, you've got two options really, you can cable tie it or you can put some, a double edge tape uh, with a cable tie head in there and do it against the panel or a bit of sticker flex and stuff like that. But yeah, the key is not to have too much slack of, power, of uh, wiring in there, as you can see. Step guys, that's all sorted. I'm happy with that at the moment. Uh, there are clips that go on the actual outside of the, the mirror. Now these are in the kit as well. So there's some covers and they actually go. And they're locked into here. Just gives it a nice finish. Now there is a line to give you a heads up on where it sits. As you can see, a little tap. Just a little bit fiddly, there we go. And you've got two for the top as well. So there are oval, there's circle ones, the bottom ones. Top ones are oval. You can just have a look. There's little lines on there to go with the contour of the, of the mirror. And that pops in there. Same with there. Okay, you've got extra two smaller caps. And what they are is the inside to cover these holes. Just gives it a beautiful finish, guys. And next step, guys, will be uh, the actual switch. So the main unit, the switch here itself. 
and that's the plug there. You can't get this wrong. Have a look on the inside. Got three up top, four down bottom. Three up top, four down bottom, one empty. And that just goes in like that, as you can see. Now I'll be pulling off this panel here. On the inside, that just pops out. That's just a cover. Grab your switch, pop that in there. Get it nice and center. And that's the switch sorted already. Next step will be to running this wiring. We're gonna run it up along. We wanna keep it away from the actual uh, accelerator pedal, any pedals. Now, there is a lot of slack on the wiring, so best way to do that is to actually fold it, as you see, just like that, until, until the uh, desired length. Put a cable tie on it, put it up in there, cable tie it nice and neat, and just have enough slack, you know, just a little bit of play for the switch to, to sit nice and comfortable up inside the dash. So we'll go ahead and do that. Go ahead and cover that to tie that together. As I said, avoid avoid any moving parts or even your your bonnet hood switch um, lever. right there as you can see now with this wiring here this is going to be for your power for the, for the actual unit itself now it is fused already so it does come fused now you can tap it in if you've got experience um, with any any 12 volt systems or you've got any other accessories and you've got a power source under here feel free to go ahead and do it now um, in this case I'm going to show you just like a, a bare four-wheel drive with no accessories. You haven't got that much uh, knowledge of 12 volt system. We're gonna run wiring to, there's an ignition source in the, inside the engine bay. So the Land Cruisers have it, it's a power outlet th um, box here. So we're gonna run a wire through there and we're gonna open that up and tap into the power outlet box. We'll go off the ignition. So when you put your ignition on, your mirrors will work, not just when the car's off or only when the car's on. So ignition on, we'll go, we'll get to that next. We'll get to this last. Next step we're gonna do is we're gonna run this wiring to the other side. That'll be for the passenger side mirror. We're gonna run it nice and neat all the way across. It does have a uh, protective sheath over there at the moment. So run it across it, put some cable ties. It'll be nice and neat, out of the way. Nice and neat would be the key. You don't want to be stepping on wiring while you're driving. Um, to the least thing you'd want to be. Be dangerous and stuff as well. As you can see, nice and neat. Like I said, I'll get back to this later. Finish running this side. OK, 
Okay, so we've fed the wiring nice and neat uh, at the bottom of the dash. If there's already wiring there, I'll be following that wiring. Cable tie it nice and neat, keep it away from any moving parts. And now when it comes to this side, the passenger side, we're gonna be running the wiring. You can have a look. A piece, of, piece of carpet here with a bit of Velcro on there. Pulling that back, run the wiring under that. And I'll be going at the back of the actual heater down the bottom. You got these brackets here. Just run it behind, over. I'll be going on, onto this wiring conduit here and that'll give me access straight out to the top of this through the grommet, through the door, and we'll repeat the process of what we just done on the driver's side. Also guys, with, with the passenger side, it does need an extension. So there is an extension in the kit. Now in this case, this kit has an extension, but it's for the driver's side. It doesn't matter. The only difference is, in this case, would be the colors. Now, in terms of fitting this as an adapter now, the most crucial thing you gotta make sure of. I know it's a little bit confusing, but it's pretty straightforward. Now there is white, purple and orange here, and there is yellow, red and green. Now, how we wanna do this as an extension, you can either write it down on a piece of paper or you can mark it uh, with some masking tape with some writing on there. And let's say we're gonna keep red on white, purple on yellow, orange on green. Now on the actual mirror for the passenger side, we're gonna to have to match these colors up with the same of the wiring loom. So green, yellow, and red have to be the same on both sides. Now it does sound a bit confusing, but like I said, if you just write it down, because sometimes in the, in the kit, you might get a driver side extension or a passenger side. I'm just trying to cover all angles so you guys don't get stuck when you're installing it yourself. But as I said, write it down, just put green and orange, yellow and purple, red on white, write it down. And then when you come to connect it onto the, the mirror side, you do uh, white, white on red, blue on yellow, orange on green, and so forth. So it's pretty straightforward. Alrighty. All right, guys, so I'm gonna actually mount the power source for the, for the unit. Now in this, in this scenario, in this case, I'm going to the power outlet box, which is here, um, in all the Land Cruisers that have it there. Look, this is the most simplest, easiest way to do your power. Now in the kit, it is wired up to be mounted power-wise under the, the dash of the vehicle. Now in this case, because I want to go to this box, I'm going to add some wiring onto there, which I've, I've got here at the moment. It's roughly about two meters, just a bit under, um, and I'm going to actually feed this through the firewall. Doing this, uh, you've got to be careful on any any wiring through your firewall. You don't want to be punching a hole. So the easiest way is to go on the outside of the grommet, just to avoid any wiring. If you're not, yeah, if you're not, if you're not confident in doing it, give it to someone that is. As you can see on the inside. And this vehicle's got this vehicle's got a chip, so I'm going to go on the outside of the actual grommet there. Once you feed your wiring through,
can see, pop that through, come back around. that around that same same concept get this nice and neat we'll allow just enough wiring that's it's probably about a meter and a half tops a bit extra no drama so it's just a Phillips head screw holding this power outlet box Now if you have a look in here, you've got so direct battery, ignition, or accessories. And that actually states it there. There's little marks that say battery. So that's constant battery, ignition, and that's, um, so ignition means when the, the car turns on, the car's on, it'll work. Accessories is when, just when you turn the accessories on, it'll work. So we're gonna go straight to accessories. And as you can see, there's already fuses in this, in this box. So we've got a 20, 10 and a 10. The 10 is more than enough for what we're using. It's actually plenty. Go. Now, like I said, this is only if you want to run it to this box. Um, so if you've got the, the tools required or the wiring stuff, you're able to do it. But otherwise, it does go in underneath the actual uh, dash inside. So you just feed it underneath. So that's fed in. Clip it back on. You can't have any overhang in this in this unit, so it's gotta be perfect. So what I'll do. Get my cabling ready. So I'd like to take the, the fuse out as well before I connect any wiring. When I'm done, I can put the fuse back in just so I don't, I don't cause any shorts anywhere. Roughly measure. Okay, so I've got earth here. Power, power, power. I'm going off uh, accessories. That's roughly what I need. Get that ready for some terminals. And please note these don't these aren't in the kit, so this is more of a personal choice if you want to go to this box. So if you do want to go to this box, it's not in the kit, you gotta supply these yourself. terminals on so I've taken the fuse out so we're not gonna have any live wires on the inside so they're just dangling around so pull the fuse out make sure you put your positive and your negative in the right areas That's done, I'll come back to that once I do the inside wiring. Go. So that's our wiring coming from the accessory box up front. Now what we do, we just get it ready to join onto our wiring loom. Like I said, make sure the actual uh, fuse is out. Because now there's nothing live, so I can, I can touch whatever together. Now we'll 
join red on red, black on black. shrink electric tape either either um, just make sure they don't touch make sure they're they're covered nicely it's strong now once you're, you're finished with that wiring I'll be doing the same thing nice and neat and we'll tuck it up on the inside and cable tie it so now that's all done, the connection's all together. Pop our fuse back in. Put our cover back on. I'll go ahead and put some conduit over this wire. I'll tuck her in and I'll put some cable ties. And then she's done. And we can test her up and see how she goes. And with the switch, switch is in place. Just remember if you pull out any other switches to plug them back in to where they need to go. Okay, we've got a spare here. Forward. There we go. So it's on ignition, that just lit up, as you can see. Okay. There we go, that's the right side. And same thing for the left side. But like I said, if you want that off ignition, which is what we've done. So if you do a constant battery, you're always gonna have a light sitting on your on your dash. Um, it is very low LED light, it won't drain the battery. But to do it the, the right way is to put it on ignition. There we go, it's on, it's off. Pull your key out, it's normal. It'd be nice factory install. Uh, in my opinion, it, it's, it's probably the best way to go. But each to their own. But that's, that's how I like to do things and that's how I think it's, it should be done. And then go ahead and put your plastics back on, clip that back, back together, and you're good to go. door trim is back on so in reverse to what we've done at the start of the video with the door trim everything back on make sure all your connections are back in make sure you're plugged connected um, test that everything's working make sure everything's working and then go to the other side and finish that off in the kit you got the little connectors as I showed you at the start now this one here is a male now how you know it's a male and female the male goes inside the female so that's how you differentiate uh, the, the different plugs. Now this is very crucial. In some, some of the kits, you'll get different wiring extensions. So this is for the driver's side. So this color, look, it doesn't matter. It's just you gotta be more careful. Um, if your kit does come with the colors that match these colors, then it's a lot easier. If not, like I said, you can write things down. 
Now what I'll be doing is holding these as they would go in. So we have to go red, green and yellow. So red is done. We're going to go green. Put the green in there. And then we've got the yellow that goes in there. Okay, that's done. Let's hold that up. Red, green, yellow, and that's in. Okay. Now what we've got to do now is our extension. As I said, this is the most crucial part. Now only do one side, and the side we're going to be doing is the female, because the male side will do it after we run it through the grommets inside the door. So uh, the female side first. And so what we're going to do, I'm going to run the wires. I'm going to go purple, orange, white. That's going to be my, my colors. Purple, orange, white. So best way is to hold it up close. That's the way it goes. So we're going to go purple. And that's in. Orange. We've got white. Okay. And now we have to use the same system, of purple, orange, and white. Now, if you're not sure, just go back to what you've done. Please, guys, make sure you do this properly, otherwise you will blow the motor inside your mirror. If you're not confident in doing so, um, I highly recommend giving it to someone that is. And then go from there. Alright, so we're at the next step now. Obviously it's a crucial one, like I said before. So we've got the male here, the female's already on the mirror. And we want to follow the same wiring that we've done on the, on the extension down the bottom. So, and that is red and purple, uh, green and orange, yellow and white. And we want to follow the same thing onto, onto this one here. So red and purple, green and orange. And then we've got yellow and white. Like I said, this is really important. Last thing you want to do is damage the motor inside the mirror. And that's it there. And that's how it lines up. So that is red and purple, orange and green, yellow and white. Red and purple, orange and green, yellow and white.
connected, it's all on, wiring's all done, adapter's been put in. Um, I've run the wiring through the grommets. Last thing I'll be doing on this side would be just securing in the wiring. Um, nice and neat, as we did on the driver's side. Cable time, out of the way. You don't want no one to be kicking or damaging your wiring, so neatest way possible. covers in nice and flush guys. What you need to do is, when you tighten these bolts, you want the, the, the covers to sit in nice and flush with the, the housing. So these have to be lifted up just a touch. As you can see, just enough for a bit of room around the actual nut face. So that is plenty. Just go and tighten that up. Has it guys? Has it decided? It's completely done. You can see. Beautiful done by OCAM. It's all wired up. Um, ready to go. I'll show you how they work on the actual button as well. And we'll go from there. Alright guys, so the way we wired it up is ignition. This lights up, illuminates the arrows. You want the right hand side. So we're going to do the right hand mirror, that's working beautifully. Left hand, you just got to click it over to the left hand. The left's going off nice and beautifully as well, up and down. When it's not in use, just put it in the middle, then there'll be no power running to any side. You'll be just stuck in the middle and nothing will go off. And when you finish, turn the vehicle off, that switches off. There has it, uh, an install for the Yocam towing mirrors. Get out there and have some fun, guys. Cheers.